Good morning guys and welcome to my first full day in Mallorca. So I've woken up um, quite early actually, like I only had about four hours sleep and I couldn't get back to sleep but that's been happening the last couple of days, I'm not too sure why. Um, so I was just like, I'm feeling awake so I'm just gonna get up. Um, so I've had a wee look outside and like, it's really early, like it's just after 7 a.m. and like nearly all of the sun loungers have towels on them so I feel like everyone's just like reserved one already. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna get one today which is a bit of a worry. Um, but like breakfast doesn't open till 8 so like I don't know, do I go down there and like put my um, towel on a sun lounger if there is one free and then just go for breakfast? Does that like mean you reserve it? I don't really know. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go get dressed before I start overthinking things um, and then head down and just see what the situation is with the um, sun loungers and then go for breakfast. So that's the plan. Okay so I've just popped on a bikini and then I've got this like um, cover up on. I love the colour of this, I think it's so cute. Um, so yeah the bikini that I have is this like cute little lilac -y patterned one really cute and then it's got like a just like a block color lilac bikini top but yeah i'm gonna head down there and just see what the situation is also i am so broken out in spots yesterday because i was so stressed and nervous i came out so many spots and all i did was pick them whilst i was nervous so yeah i don't want to wear makeup because it's so hot i didn't even bring any makeup so this is what I'm gonna look like throughout all these vlogs. But yeah, I'm just gonna pack a book, a towel, and just head down. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm already sweating. My hair's literally gone straight already, but I got breakfast, so it was actually so easy. And I'm just like, I don't know why I was overthinking it. So I got sausage, bacon, mushrooms, hash brown, and toast. I don't wanna be too, like, I don't know, like my eyes be too big. What's the saying? My eyes be bigger than my belly, so I thought I'd just take this and then if I want more I can always go back and then I've got some orange juice. So I had breakfast as you guys saw and it was actually just so easy, I don't know why the hell I was worried. It was just so straightforward, like I don't even know why I panicked. I wasn't even thinking about the fact that I was on my own, it was just like just easily laid out, like so obvious what to do and stuff, I was just overthinking it. So now I'm just relaxing in the sun. I did manage to get a sun lounger because I asked at reception and um, she told me that there was another pool. So like the pool that I went to, it was like really busy and like that's where kids are allowed and stuff. But this like poolside that I'm at just now is just for over 16s and it's a lot like more quiet and just like calm and just more my sort of vibe as they say. <laughs> So I've got this book which I'm about to read, which is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. This is my second time filming this clip because I just spoke to you guys for about five minutes and it didn't even record, which is just great. But basically what I was saying was, um, I thought I would just update you guys because I haven't spoke to you guys since this morning and it's now like maybe 2 p.m. Uh, so I just had my lunch, which you would have just seen, but I chickened out of like speaking to the camera. I just quickly filmed it because it was a lot busier. Um, that, like during lunchtime than it was when I had breakfast this morning um, but like it wasn't awkward at all it just would have felt awkward to vlog but like I th the weirdest thing is the thing I was like scared most about was eating alone I just thought it would be really awkward but like it's not like I just scroll through my phone or like people watch or listen to music or literally just stare into space it's not awkward like I don't think anyone's looking at me which is what I thought like they would be um like i haven't really seen anyone else alone 
but I think that's because like I I'm alone, so I was looking to see if there was anyone else alone. But like when people was in a group, I don't think they're looking for people that are on their own. Like oh look, she's on her own. Um, so yeah, it's not scary like I thought it would be. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would update you because I. I'm scared of vlogging in public as you guys know um, but I've just quickly come up to my room mainly just to double check that I'm not sunburnt because like I don't have anyone to put sun cream on my back so I tried to do it down at the pool and like I didn't think that it reached it correctly so I just wanted to use the mirror and just make sure that I was getting it everywhere because it is like really hot now it was quite cool this morning um, there was like a quite a cold breeze um, and I was kind of like sat in a more like shaded bit as well um, but even that bit that I'm sat in now it's like roasting so I'm going to go back down there um, just now and I went in the pool for a bit as well not my hair but this time I think I'm going to go on just like I can't even swim but just like <laughs> to cool down just like pretend to swim just walk around um, because like everyone's just here to have fun like I literally thought like oh no I can't do things like go in the pool and stuff because everyone will be watching you and it's like no one actually cares like even if people come as groups they do things on their own like you don't even recognize that people are in groups because like you know one of them's listening to music one of them is on their phone one of them's in the swimming pool one of them is I don't know doing something else so like you don't stand out being alone it's absolutely fine um, that's just advice if any of you guys were planning on doing like a solo trip or that but yeah I realised I haven't actually shown you the balcony I think I did last night but it was really dark obviously so I'll show it to you properly now because it's really beautiful so this is my little balcony bit I love it I love that you get your own balcony and then this is the view so it is next to like a road but honestly I can hear it last night it's really not noisy and then that's the main pool over there which I think I'm gonna check out tomorrow. Hopefully, like, if I get up early, I can bag myself a sun lounger and check out that pool because, like, it is a bit more like a lot of stuff going on and stuff, which I do prefer, like, the quieter sort of um, environment. But I definitely wanna, like, try the two out. Um, so I'll see what that is about tomorrow. But yeah, now I am gonna go swim. Well, pretend to swim. And honestly, I thought someone was coming in my room there. Honestly, I'm so happy just because, I don't know, I just thought like, obviously I was excited to come, but I just thought like, oh no, I'm gonna get here and I'm gonna feel so alone and just feel so awkward and just not know what to do. But honestly, I, I feel like crying because I'm so like, I don't know, why did I get emotional like this? But like good tears because like I'm just so proud of myself and just like happy and just like I feel like I could do this every year. Like if I want to go on holiday every year, I could happily do it on my own. It's like especially when it's like all inclusive, you don't have anything to worry about. Like everything's just there. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy. These are happy almost tears. <laughs> it's so nice and warm right now. I'm getting through my boot really enjoying it. I also went in the pool. It was freezing in there. So I'm back to sunbathing. Okay, so I'm gonna go and head and get some dinner in a little bit. I also wanna pop to the supermarket as well. I don't know which one to do first. I wanna just go to the supermarket just to get some snacks. Cause you guys know me, I have to have my evening snacks. I also wanna just get like some juice to put in the fridge in my room. Um, but like, I know when everyone goes on holiday, they like shower and then they get dressed and then they go for dinner. But like, I would do that if I was going to a restaurant, but I don't know, like, do you have to do that even just for going for dinner in an all-inclusive hotel? Like, for me, it just seems pointless because if I get washed and dressed, I'm just going to sweat again. I'd rather just go for dinner, then shower, and then just literally just relax in my room where I hopefully won't sweat. Um, so I don't know whether I should get changed, but, like, 
if everyone else is, then I probably will. <laughs> so you might think that I've just come out of the shower, but this is just sweat. <laughs> and maybe like pool water, but mainly just sweat. So yeah, I think I've decided I'm going to go for a shower, then get changed, then head out to dinner. And I say head out, it's just in the hotel. Um, and then go to the supermarket. I honestly do not understand how people look good when they go on holiday because I just look like an absolute mess and I am so sunburnt and I don't know how because I reapplied sun cream so much and it's not even in the areas that I can't reach. Well, actually, I haven't looked at my back, but it's like in the areas that I can reach. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I've got like factor 50 reapplying it like constantly. I'm still burnt. Holy crap, I didn't even know my shoulder was burnt as well. Like, I don't get it. That one's not so bad. It's that one. And then this thigh. Look at that. <laughs> I look like, um, what do they say? A drumstick squashy. And it's the same here as well. Oh my god. That is so bad. <laughs> I'm a mess. Oh my god, I feel so sticky. But I've had a fun day and that's the main thing. Holy crap. <laughs> How do people look good? I don't understand. Oh my god, my chest is all burnt as well. <laughs> what a disaster. <laughs> but I had fun. Okay, I understand now why people come back from a day of sunbathing and just shower and then get dressed and then go out to dinner because honestly, I feel a million times better like just I feel so fresh. It's such a nice feeling. Hopefully I also look a lot fresher as well. I haven't even got the light on. I had the nicest cold shower. I've popped on after sun because I need it. Look at the shoulder. <laughs> it looks so bad. Um, but I'll quickly just show you my outfit. It's like really basic. Um, but yeah, it just feels so nice to be in fresh, clean clothes. So here is my outfit. I'm just trying to cover this horrible shoulder with my hair. Um, so I've got this really pretty top on. I love this. This is from Zaffle. It was very kindly gifted to me. And then I've got these shorts, which I absolutely love the fit of these. Although I did struggle to get them on. Um, and I think it must just be because I'm like sticky with after sun um, because I tried them on like a couple days ago when I bought them and they fit perfectly like they do fit when they're on but it was just a bit of a nightmare to pull them up but i genuinely just think it, it was because my body's sticky um but yeah these are from primark and they're really comfortable a really nice fit and then i've got a bum bag um i know that some people don't like these but i actually love them like they're just so handy especially for like occasions like this um so you can just like pop a couple things that you needed it instead of taking like a bag. I just find the bags annoying. I much prefer a bum bag. It's just so easy and out of the way and just a lot more secure as well. Like you know that what you have is going to be safe because it's like right there. So especially like right now when I go down for dinner, I know that a lot of people just like leave their bags and stuff, but it would be quite nice just to have my stuff like on me. Um, and then I've got these shoes, which they're just sandals. I think they were from Deichmann or however you say it. But yeah, that is my outfit. I am so freaking hungry. So I'm going to head down to dinner now. I'm not too sure what the dinner situation is, um, whether it's going to be busy or not. But we shall see. And I'll probably just film a little clip and tell you guys what I ate afterwards because it's probably going to be busy and I won't. What am I doing? I won't want to vlog in front of loads of people and then I'm going to go to the supermarket and get snacks um, and then I'm going to come back and video video call Michael because he was asking if, if I was free for a video chat but I was like oh I'm just about to head out for dinner so after dinner when I get back I will chat to him so I'm excited about that <laughs> I'm back now from having dinner and I also popped to the supermarket. Um, so dinner was actually so busy. Like I struggled to get a table. Like there was just everyone was occupied. And then I saw these people leave and I was like, right, I'm just gonna sit down even though like 
through, like it wasn't cleaned or anything. Um, but then one of the members of staff came over and like cleaned it. But like, yeah, it was very busy. So there was like constantly people looking for tables and there just wasn't enough room. Um, I had pizza, chips and salad. I didn't have dessert, although it did look good, but I was just really full after that. I find that like with the heat, I'm not as hungry as I usually am. Um, but yeah, I went to the supermarket, like I said, just because I wanted to get um, some snacks, just because I do tend to get hungry late in the evening. Um, so I'll show you what I got. I've had to take my shorts off straight away, so I'm literally just sat here in my pants because the sunburn is on fire <laughs> so i got some chocolate biscuits they kind of look like bourbons but round so i thought i would get those i don't know what anything says so i'm just hoping like all of this is just like i'm guessing that means milk so i think that's milk chocolate like breakfast biscuits i thought that would be quite handy to have i hope that's what they are um like the same with this I think delay means milk, so I'm guessing that just means milk chocolate. Um, so I got a big bar of that. I'm gonna put all of this in the fridge because it's just gonna melt if not. I got Coca-Cola Zero Sugar because I couldn't see Diet Coke anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. So I just got Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, and then I got some Pringles. So yeah, just handy to have. I know something so simple, but it really scares me doing things like that, like going to a supermarket in a different country. I don't even know why. I think it's just because like I'm on my own in a like unknown environment. Um, so I sort of like just grab what I can and just be as quick as I can. Um, but I felt bad for the poor guy serving me because he asked me a question and I was just like, because obviously I don't no Spanish. I really need to like look up key phrases and stuff because I used to know like a couple of phrases um, from when I volunteered in Peru was it? Yeah um, but I've completely forgotten it all but if I just like did a wee like refresher online probably like, a few phrases would come back to me but basically he was asking me if I want a plastic bag but he said it and I literally looked at him like and he's like do you want a plastic bag? And I'm like, I'm sorry, yes. I felt so bad because like, I just probably came across as really lazy, like not having learned anything. Um, so yeah, I need to do that. Also, I don't know like if white markings on a road, like that looks like a zebra crossing like we would have in the UK, does that mean anything here? Because I don't think it does <laughs> because the amount of times I almost got hit by a car because I thought it was a zebra crossing, but I'm not sure if it is, so I also need to research that. Um, but anyways, it's now... what time is it? Oops. It's now actually just after half past eight. Um, so I am going to phone Michael and then I am probably going to try and do some editing and then eat some snacks. I'll probably just go to bed because I'm really tired like I said I haven't had a proper night's sleep in ages um but yeah I think I've had a good first day here um it's been a lot of fun I like all inclusive holidays like you just feel so safe like I think it's the best idea for like a solo traveler like obviously if you have more confidence then go for it like do your own thing book your own hotel and go different places for dinner and stuff then that's amazing but for me someone who like the part I find the hardest about traveling on my own is not not feeling safe I hate that feeling there's been a few times when I've been in other countries where I've just not felt safe and it's the horriblest feeling but when you're in an all-inclusive holiday like you just feel so so safe um, and that's what I really like but I suppose you just have to be sensible and do your research and um, know which areas are like safe to go because it's the same in the UK obviously there's like areas that aren't as safe as others and you just like it's just because like we live there where you get to know that but as like someone coming into a new country you don't know what the safe areas are and what the not so safe ones are um, so you just got to kind of like do your research but anyways I'm gonna end this vlog here um, 
I did try and vlog as much as I possibly could, but like, what really is there to vlog when I'm just like sat in the sun? Like, I was having a great time, but there wasn't really much to show you guys. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, it anyways. And thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you again very, very soon for another vlog. Bye.